Sweeping out after the devil wind. Oh, it was pretty bad. A couple of days, wind and fire everywhere. And this is what gardens turn into. Trash piles you come out in the morning. Every thorn is all down and all the flower. You wonder which of your flowers are still alive. Gardening, man, it's a gamble. You come out, you know, just, and you, people think it's all peaceful, but every day it's about sweeping off the trash, making at least something come back to life. Here are my little, my little chest boards. I have to sweep these off every day. They're one of the first things every morning, especially after the devil wind blows. I sweep them all off. And I'm remembered that God is a better chess player than any of us. Here is my first elementary loss to God right here on this board. You can see it's a chess board because it's 8 by 8. There they are, the little squares. It's 8 by 8. 64 squares and you can see the paw prints of an animal walking around on the chessboard but God has bigger and better ideas and he just you know you have no chance man you're playing against God all you can leave is the the ash the burnt ash of your uh, your defeat or God they say God is like pounding your head against a stone you know it's a, it's a, your head will break before the stone, but still, we do it, so I set it in stone. My first loss to God, and I thought, well, I can do better than that. I still thought, eight by eight, the paw prints into the bricks, leave a little memorial, and I thought maybe someday there'll be every boom, 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 but I thought, ah, I moved to. Here was my second game with God. I got better. I got better. God had to really pull out his heavy artillery on me this time. He swept it so clean. And see, there's a lot of things that aren't square here. He moved in with, but amazing beauty. That's just it. When you get whooped by God in a chess match, the animal prints of your existence get virtually wiped out. There's almost nothing left of your paw prints anymore. But that just shows, wow, His Majesty had to reveal itself again in this randomness of it's still an 8x8 eight eight, and every tile is a 1xX in an 8x8 eight eight world. 1xX rectangles in an 8x8 eight eight world. It should just be squares, but no, God cheats. He starts moving the boundaries. You think it's gonna just be squares, eight by eight, but no, he moves in. How, look, he had to cheat way more. To wipe me out this time, he had to cheat way more. And then finally, I had these two worlds, and I lost with blood red savagery in my first defeat, and I went down at least in orange and yellow in my second defeat. And I thought I have enough in me for one more game. One more game with God. I wanted him to, I knew I would lose, but at least maybe he would reveal his true identity. One of his many faces might come out. And so this was the third game. You still see it's still marked out in eight by eight. And there's only one paw print, two, three paw prints left, almost nothing left. And it had to bridge the gap between the orange world and the red world and the... We actually see here the eye of God, the eye of the storm, sun, Apollo, whoever he is, had to come out just to crush me this last time. And finally, I stopped playing. I never made another 8x8 eight eight again. No more chess games, no more 8x8 eight eight grids. I tried to change the rules so I might have a chance. You know, kind of like when you're little, you have no chance in football, baseball maybe, or a shortstop. Little guys have a chance, but here, what little brain chance did I have? Well, I switched all the odd numbers. 
thinking I could switch it up with God and you might find all my other tables and chairs never again are an eight by eight. Nine by nines, seven by sevens, the chair in the Trinity room, 13 by 13, the table in the Trinity room, 21 by 21, and there's always a single square in the middle. Unlike these chess boards that have a crisscross in the middle. It's kind of, I don't know why, I, you know, it's like that's just, I see that as this crushing defeat. But still, I left them. Now they're spaced in the bricks. I could put another one here, perfectly spaced. And even then two more, they would fit point to point. It's timed out so I could put three more defeats in here and three more defeats in here. But I don't know if I ever will, or just one here in the middle. It fits with the bricks. But the eight by eight, it's just, <gasps> it brings back, well, these were, some of the first things I made after I finished the, the great mosaic of broken dreams. I even thought today I'd bring back a relic of those days. Maybe I'll step into the shade. I brought back the jeans I wore when I made the mosaic of broken dreams. And in fact, I had one pair of jeans and I started to wear them every day. I would just brush the cement off them and wear them again. I thought till I finished the Trinity. I was behind schedule. God was supposed to be done in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost one year each. And Jesus was there on the wall outside and I, I could not make this Father and the Holy Ghost. And I swore I would just wear the same pair of pants till I could make the, oh, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And uh, in fact, I, so when the jeans started wearing out, well, I can't have holes in my jeans, not like these kids these days. I had one pair of jeans. I realized if you take two pairs of jeans, you can make an everlasting pair of jeans where you just keep cutting the pieces off one pair of jeans and putting them on until they last forever. Well, I did. I wore these jeans till the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost were done. And then I put them away. I just dragged them out here today for the show. This is what I... I lived in this for months and months and months. Oh, I, sometimes I would clean up to go to church or teach a class or something, but mostly I was here in this garden trying to make the mosaic of broken dreams work. But these chess games, that's what I did after them. John, come over towards the bells. Bring that banjo out of the shade. Oh, went down a gopher hole. Whoa! I forgot about that regular chair. She had, whoa, that can happen here with gopher. Hey, you know what? Let's get it on stone. Solid ground. Upon this rock. I'm not going to build it on Actually, sandy here. soil. You know what? Let's go here. Man, I've had that happen with that. With that, with a ladder, that can be dangerous. This was almost a video worth watching. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want the accident video. He <laughs> saved the instrument. <laughs> hey. That's what's important. Certainly not my head. The broken dreams. You know, like, <laughs> I knew exactly what that, you know, long ago, man, we had the old video of the great Earth Day Jam. Uh -huh. and. Man, Jerry Deshay was out here in a chair one day and the same thing happened. Went down a gopher hole and he had that big old, you know, Gibson open body guitar. He's like, no, <laughs> save the guitar. He was like, he handed it to me and this other guy was like, he was like, let me, I'll go down and die, but don't, don't, don't let, let my the guitar baby, go. <laughs> don't let my guitar go, my classic, my only instrument worth anything. He went, woo. One of those big old iron chairs went down. Or no, it was probably that. People yeah. started bringing out the, the wooden chairs, but anyway, on solid ground. <clears throat> Canary in the coal mine, that's what this is. I got out the old crazy banjo, put on the, well, these are the mosaic of broken dream clothes. You can even see it. Let's spin the wheel. Talk to the people on the other planet because I guess maybe people don't know, Canary in the coal mine, that's the, 
That's the bird you use as a sacrifice. It's like, oh, well, let's test the ground. Oh no, he's going down the gopher hole. <laughs> we almost used John as the canary in the coal mine. You know? <laughs> but uh, so many, you know, before there were the EPA tests, people literally, they use canaries because they're sensitive, because they, they die easily. They, they fall down the hole so easily. And, uh, well, I wrote a song about it. The canary in the coal mine and his run in with the Holy Ghost, the dove of love. It's a story of two birds and the, you know, just when you think you're the canary in the coal mine, kind of like Christ dying for some other person's sins. No canary wanted to go down a coal mine. Uh-uh. So, you know, but it's just a little bird. Nobody cared. So, canary in the coal mine. Give me that chord, John. Canary in the coal mine. 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 Met the dove of love. Nearly fell dead Till the dove of love Wrapped around his head The dove caught fire with a mighty blast And blew them both to heaven They saw God at last Canary in the coal mine Saw God at last Canary up in heaven with the dove of love Singing for the Lord Took him out of that coal mine Canary in the coal mine Said, Lord, save me from the coal mine Canary in the coal mine up in heaven Songs for the angels in heaven Singing so sweet Angels in heaven Heard a treat that day With the canary in the coal mine And a dove of love Canary in the coal mine Fell off the perch The dove of love said Let's get out of this church Let's leave them people Saying them prayers, we did what we did, but maybe nobody cared. Dove of love said nobody cared. Say took that canary, so let's a fly away, fly away, fly away. old hymns So canary and the dove they flew mighty high flew right out of the hole in God's eye kept on going to another world ain't coming back no matter what you heard Yeah canary and the coal mine and the dove of love flew out the hole and got died right out the top of the sky flew out the hole and got died at the black hole in the middle of God's eye flew on to a world and they ain't coming back they ain't coming back no matter what you heard no matter what you heard
they're gone. Gone, as they used to play in the old jazz days, they called this the Garden of Gone, where the gone cats, the cats that were beyond playing in clubs, beyond playing pop music, beyond playing gospel music, beyond, they were just gone cats, like Joe. Then he would just play his guitar, talking to Mother Mary all day, he didn't even know anymore. We would drag him out, man, he would have to put some clothes on him, play that bebop guitar, because he was just gone. Yeah, that's, what, that's what they said, man. Gone cats are cats that practice too much. They practice so much, nobody understands what they're playing anymore. Drives them away. John denied. We're trying not to do that. We're trying not to practice too much, man. You get too good. It's an offense to God to be too perfect, John. <laughs> to be too perfect. All right. Oh, I see people are waking up on a Saturday now. The motorcycles and the... Tejano music. All right. Uh, John McGill has got an original song for us to uh, take us out from the mosaic of broken dreams here, wearing the broken dreams clothes, trying to, once again, reporting live from the creative process. John McGill. Until next time.